Hello and welcome back everybody to the Join Dota League season number 4 as yes, Paul Austin connects in just in time as well. So it's going to be game number 2 of this 2 game series, Mineski vs First Departure in the group stages for this tournament of course. I'm from Hefel TV, I am Coucher and as always I'm going to be solo casting. Well, okay, I, I over exaggerated, it's not as always but happening pretty often at least for those Southeast Asian games just because nobody else is usually awake or doing something else or anything like that. But, Mineski, they lost game number one. Can they come back in game two? As first departure, they have the first pick this time around. I expect them maybe to try to leave a Death Prophet unbanned and grab it for themselves. Unless Mineski, of course, Mineski, of course, ban it out. But first departure now, taking some time with the first ban. And never mind, Death Prophet straight off ban. So I guess they don't like that hero. They're like, who cares? Death Prophet too weak, we're not going to play it. Razor also banned out, so first departure now. Uh, assuming that they do not want to go for a Tide Hunter, do they ban that out now as well, or maybe they want to go for a Tide Hunter? Who knows? Probably first departure are going for something crazy as they always are. So Tide Hunter is the ban. As Naga Seren banned out by Neski, making sure that well Miracle doesn't get his well probably one of his most renowned heroes. But first departure, first pick. I have no clue what to expect. Ogre match, I guess, could be one for them if they want to. Nature's Prophet, if you want. I mean, I just randomly popped it out every now and then in the Southeast Asian scene. You see, just I'm completely 100% random. Nature's Prophet, first pick. Skyrath Mage is there. Centaur War Runner, if you want to. Doombringer, I don't know. <laughs> What what do first departure want to play? Io maybe, Legion Commander. I'm just throwing out heroes at the moment. It, it's almost impossible to predict the first pick really. If you ban out the Death Prophet and the Tide Hunter, like, what what are you expecting? Brew. And it's a Brewmaster. Oh wow! How could I forget that hero not being in the pool? Literally completely forgot about the Brewmaster. I always forget at least one hero that's usually banned out. But Brewmaster definitely a strong hero, really mid game focused as first departure usually are with their lineups. As Mineski, uh, Skyrim Mage definitely could be a nice hero to utilize against the Brewmaster. Maybe Ogre Mancha is the secondary support, unless they want to go for something like a Bat Rider for the Rolfling or Centaur Skyrim Mage is a opening that Mineski has come for previously as well. So Skyrim Mage, Ogre, which Doctor wouldn't be a bad support either to be honest, to so just deal with the Brewmaster. Once it gets the primary split off, just let the Paralyzing Cask fly between the Brulings. And it will be that Center War Runner. So first departure now, do they try to go for something weird? Of course they can leave the weird stuff for the later stages as well. Ogre Mancha is still available if they want to pick that one up. If not, Witch Doctor could be there for themselves. Ancient Apparition maybe. Or I guess Enigma second pick. Would be just fine if they went for it in the first phase last time around as well. And that will be the Enigma. So Enigma Brewmaster. Lots of teamfight already coming out. Of course, Prime Split a little bit better most of the time than the Black Hole. Just because it's a little bit more reliable. I mean, Black Hole, you have to get the perfect positioning for it. or Well, maybe not perf perfect, but as near to perfect as you can allow. So next set of fans coming out. First departure, I guess unless they themselves want to utilize an Ogre Mancha, they're most likely going to ban it out. Just to make sure that Mineski don't have the Ogre Skyrath Centaur combination. Or maybe they want to ban out something like a Vengeful Spirit instead. Maybe a Lich potentially. Just some heroes that could uh, mess around with the Black Hole. First departure, of course, in the last game. Didn't feel like they were too massively playing around Black Hole. But, so they just take out a Spectre instead at the moment. Really a hard carry that can split push and just join the fights with Haunt. And not only that, the Spectre Dagger also allows him just path walking or however, however it's called. But once he uses Spectre Dagger, he can just go over cliffs, over just trees, everything. And Witch Doctor banned out by Mineski themselves. So I guess they're a little bit afraid of just getting Black Hold and uh, Death Warded at the same time. I mean, Witch Doctor all in all is a strong hero, can just sustain the pushes with that Voodoo Restoration heal as well. So, it's a strong hero and 
It's always worth abandoning the second phase, I think. But now, first departure really pan out more hardcores. Something like a Medusa, maybe, or. We'll see. If they don't pan out an ogre, though, at the moment, I think Mineski might go for it. Of course, Mineski, they might not as well. So, first departure maybe can get their hands on their ogre once again. Or what would they even want to go for? Might we see a timber saw at some point, but Slark is banned by first departure. Slippery fish as Mineski banning out the Lycan just to be on the safe side. Between an Enigma and the Lycan, yes, it would have been a pretty crazy push. But I'm not too sure if first departure even play Lycan at all. Most likely Mineski have way more insight into that than I do because, well, what do I know? What do I know? I'm just a caster, just a silly, silly caster. So, just a second, had to update the thing, change your logo, it's ugly, don't say that, don't be saying caca, don't, don't say it's ugly, well, even if you do, it's like, eh. I'll let our logo, our graphics team know that you think it's ugly, maybe we're, we're, we're about to change it, it is a new design, so we'll see how it works out, but now Mineski, in the meantime, as I was doing other stuff, Faceless Void was picked up for them, so they're gonna have that Chronosphere Mystic Flare combination and would have been lovely for them to have the Witch Doctor to just combo it up with as well, have the Death Ward into the Chronosphere, but they banned it out themselves. So they're not gonna have it unfortunately for them. As for first departure though, their own third pick about to come. They need support, or well, they need one support if the Enigma is in the jungle. And that support might be this Elder Titan. It can be offlane still as well, with Enigma in the jungle, Brewmaster in the mid lane, something along those lines. But Elder Titan, the natural order is such a sneaky ability, really. You can't... You cannot prepare for it. If you go for something like a Lich, actually Lich wouldn't be bad at all for Mineski. Chain Frost, Chronosphere combination, something to stop the black hole. Chain Frost is also decent against Brewmaster just because it has something to bounce to and usually does not get split up. And if it does, if the Brewmaster splits his Brewlings, then he's just not going to be able to focus the target he wants to go for. So all in all, uh, not bad, not bad at all so far. And Legion Commander, whoa, Legion Commander for first departure. So they just want to lock somebody down. If they get the duel on the Faceless Void, it might be so that he can't get the Krona at all, but getting that close to the Faceless Void is hard to say the least. At first departure, they actually don't have a great amount of lockdown. I mean, they have the Echo Stomp and Black Hole and Malphite and duel, I guess, but those aren't the most casual of stuns. Of course, Mineski themselves, they only have the Hoof Stomp as well. Chronosphere, of course, will be excellent. But Mineski's Faces Void, Skyrath, Lich combination as supports. It's scary. And they go for a Morphling as well, once again, for the last pick. Just another Slipper Hero. Duel might be his biggest weakness once again. And actually, Morphling, since he's heavily stat-based, he has a really high amount of armor, which is usually most of his survivability. But Elder Titan, he's going to remove all of that base armor. And that is where the Lich comes in, has the Ice Armor to just get you that little bit of extra. And hopefully maybe uh, something like a Vladimir's offering somewhere along the line as well. But first departure themselves, now what's their last pick gonna be? At the moment they are heavily stacked with melee heroes and against Faceless Void and Centaur both and even Lich for that matter. It's not what you usually would want to have. And not only that, they don't have any great amount of damage to just ensure those duel victories. They could try to go for something like a Zeus, which might work out for them, just be enough, but Mineski could easily just dual mid lane and completely crush the Zeus, like literally walk over him. Frost Blast into Waveform and just Zeus is almost dead already, just such a squishy hero. Low movement speed, low HP pool, and they go for an Ember Spirit instead. So they are running with four melee heroes, might get punished. Of course, Ember Spirit is pretty mobile with those remnants. So, he's one of the heroes that might be able to escape the Faceless White's clutches. Uh, the Flame Guard is going to be pretty nice as well against the magic damage of Mineski. But, I don't know. First departure, they feel so greedy with the lineup at the moment. 
And Legion Commander winning the duels. They're gonna have to bring a hero low and then go for the duel. Of course, early on, if the Legion Commander has sufficient levels, just going for the overwhelming odds and running a support down is not the hardest, especially if the supports are as squishy as the Lich or Skyrath Mage is. But Ice Armor definitely gonna help out even there. If the Lich manages to cast it on whoever gets dueled. But we'll see if Mineski can just execute as well, although their team fight is just scary for sure. Just Chronosphere, Mystic Flare, easy kill on one, maybe Chain Frost, and another easy kill there potentially. But to introduce the lineups to you guys for the last game of today for the Join Dota League Season 4 Asian Division 1 on the Radiant side, first departure playing, uh, or not first departure for them. Polosan will be playing the Ember Spirit, Aluka, Kai on the Elder Titan, leaving Lobby on the Enigma. With Miracle heading towards the mid lane on the Legion Commander, rushing a bottle. And Hana will be the last one on the Brewmaster off lane. As for Mineski, Yaj, JJ playing the Center War Runner, leaving J Bimbo on the Morphling. With uh, 5593 Ova supporting him, might be a dual lane after all in the mid. As Johnny will be the Faceless Void for the safe lane, and RR playing the Sky of Mage for the last one. And look at RR, has started with double mantle of intelligence. So wants to start as heavy and as harassment as possible with just those arcane bolts, I guess. Has one clarity as well, but arcane bolt spams and um, plenty. And uh, Polson will be that safe lane farmer on the Ember Spirit. Definitely better to send him safe lane. I, I think they're kind of expecting that dual lane to come off from Mineski in the mid lane. Just Lich plus Morphling, although. It might not be that, it might be Lich Centaur as well. Wouldn't be horrible, I mean, getting Centaur some guaranteed levels. A little bit more farm as well, most likely, just because your creep wave will be pushed out, or the Radiant creep wave rather will be pushed out. But this time around, Mineski, they have only blocked out this big camp. I am almost positive that this ward here does block it out. So Enigma are gonna have a slightly better time to begin with as in the last game, I think. Although, it's still a long way to run, I mean, let's say you start here, you run here, you come here, it's like, oh crap, it's blocked, you have to go all the way here, and then you have to go all the way back again, just to farm up further. So it's going to slow him down, but probably not as much as last time, because he had to go into the enemy jungle, there one camp was also blocked, and so on and so forth. But that time with first departure, they're running against... Or they're having two solo lanes against two dual lanes. Hana not gonna have a fun time for sure on the Brewmaster. RR making goddamn sure of that with just those arcane bolts and even the right clicks at this point. Mid lane, Miracle should struggle in all honesty. There's the Frost Blast already coming out. Jay, there's the waveform as well. Don't think they're gonna get the kill, especially if not with pressed the attack on. But still a lot of damage done. Miracle though has his bottle. That's gonna help out with him just getting lasted and harassing as well. If you connect on the entire creep wave. Plus the heroes, oh Hana top lane though, gets the thunderclap off, gonna survive but no the time lock is there from Johnny. cannot follow up, the thunderclap slow was still present, so couldn't get close enough, but Hana brought down extremely low, and even on the bottom lane center, he's probably gonna have a better time just because Elder Titan, what is he gonna do to a center like really? Elder Titan is not scary at this point, later on yes they're gonna have natural order plus Ember Spirit Slight of Fist combination, but that's a long way off still. Like a really long way even. And Miracle, he's bottle crowing as well. Unfortunately, the courier is still walking, so it's not as fast as it otherwise would be. I guess walking courier gets slowed down... Or walking courier, I guess, doesn't get slowed down by a bottle at all. It's only the flying one. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it was a full bottle. I don't even know if a walking one does get slowed. But Morphling has dropped pretty low in the mid lane as well. Overwhelming odds are so just that annoying. Polosan, oh no, dodges the hoofdom for now. Kai gonna come back in with an Astral Spirit and an Echo Stomp, but Center War Runner, although he's not getting the craziest amount of last hits, he's still keeping up with Polosan. So he's actually getting a pretty decent amount mid lane. J drops slower, still Bimbo. Has to be a little bit careful. This pressed attack from Miracle. I think he stood around for maybe a little bit too long now. Another Frost Blast. Oh, he doesn't have enough mana. There's the sacrifice though. Now he's a little bit out of range, a little bit unfortunate. Otherwise, with a, with a bottle charge on Morphling and the Frost Blast, I think they would have gotten the kill onto Legion. All of his spells on cooldown, but he hasn't in his room now. Never mind, breaks it immediately. 
Okay, another overwhelming odds used. Cut frost blasted in the face, but Lobby, he comes in now. He just has midnight pulse. He just came in to deny a creep, really? I, I guess so. I, I mean, help out Miracle a little bit. Waveform doesn't even connect, just, just for farming creeps. So, no kills quite yet. Tranquil Boots finished on the center. Level 4 as well. Always Hana doing 4 and 0 and level 3 and a half. So, center doing a lot better. I mean, doubling the last hits a little bit more even than doubling that of the Brewmaster. Brewmaster, of course, needs level 6. I mean, so does the center, but... And both need Blink Dagger. So, there is similar healer, heroes in that regard. Miracle in the mid lane. Trying to be as abusive as he can with that overwhelming odds. And this dual lane so far hasn't been able to put the craziest amount of pressure on him just because... Well, this overwhelming odds, when he connects on both heroes and the creep wave, it's just too devastating of a damage output. Miracle wanted to go for Ova as well, thinks twice, there's the Frost Blast, level 2. They have the wave form, but Presti attack should be enough to get him to safety, and it's gonna be your easy. Bounty Rune bottled up as well, or just picked up, never mind, it's just because the bottle is flying out now. It also carries Polosan's bottle, Ember Spirit going for one on the bottom lane. So still no kills, top lane, we might see one though, Johnny, if he time walks now, they're waiting for a little bit, there's the first arcane ball, time walk as well, they do get the slow from it, they need a little bit more, no ancient seal, no concussive shot used either, so they're not gonna attempt the kill properly anyway, mid lane, wow god, miracle, does he want to keep on going, he has the overwhelming odds, cooling off, bottling up as well, he needs a creep wave, maybe, creep wave is coming, don't think he can catch both of them, and he attempted it, he failed, and now he's on the run, if he manages to outrun a frost blast, he's gonna be safe, but, Lich, he's pretty fast with his boots as well. Oh god, I think he's gonna catch up at some point. Elder Titan, go block! Go block with the illusion! There's the Frost Blast and that's the death of him with Centaur coming in as well. There's the first blood. He went way too greedy for the Morphling. Don't think they're even gonna get the counter kill with Polosan coming in. Echo Stomp does land though. Illusion's helping out a little bit. There's the Searing Chains as well. Slight of Fist use. He might get the kill. Oh no, the Double Edge came out before. Ca caught two. And that's Mineski getting a free for one exchange. They lose the Centaur, but Centaur up to a K 1k gold. Level 5.5, plus them getting first blood, 2 more kills, they are just perfectly fine with this. First departure, melee heroes against Centaur, at least grouped up like that, not a good choice. Miracle, another overwhelming odds, gonna try to go in deep, but as Mineski get more levels, they are less and less afraid of the Legion Commander. Of course, as he has more time to overwhelming odds, might change. Now a sentry ward as well, just to make sure Miracle does not get frost blasted on his own high ground. As the spirit comes through, natural order only level 1, so makes little difference really, just provides some vision, so that's a nice aspect. Bottom lane, Polos and drops so damn low to the center, has the flame guard still, uses the steering chains as well, flame guard only level 2, chose to go for 2 points into steering chains between, as Miracle, spells on cooldown, oh wow, he's gonna just snatch the, oh never mind, he's gonna kill the haste, just to be on the safe side, oh but now Hana comes in, oh he should have gone for the haste. So he's gonna lose his life now. Unfortunately, the Miracle didn't have level 6 before this kill. Otherwise, it would have been an easy dual win, dual victory. But they get the kill nonetheless, and that is level 6 now on Miracle. So Mineski have to play a little bit more cautiously. Bimbo back in all the way home. Reaching up from the bottle now. And last it twice. Miracle has 15 compared to 27 and 11 Morphling, although Morphling doesn't have the greatest either considering it's a 2 versus 1 and Miracle, is he really fighting this? Cannot go for a duel, probably would have lost this, but he had some balls man, just turn around, if you run away you take usually more damage, but now there's Lobby coming in, not enough mana for a black hole loop, there's the duel, they don't have enough, he's on the edge of the Midnight Pulse, I think he was just out of it though, there's the Tempid use as well, he's wanting to turn around, Miracle drops slow, joining in the meantime, the kill of Hana on the top lane, Malfa is coming off cooldown, but Lobby not having the black hole, or even if he did, not sure if it would have been enough, just because strength morph was already activated, but Lobby stays around, and Ember Spirit, they get the kill onto the Lich, he's gonna get Centaur as well now, oh god, the Flame Guard is doing so much, it's only level 2, but Centaur, he didn't have anything to just remove the Flame Guard with, so Polosan gets the kill just as the Flame Guard expires as well, make it a 4 for 5 just kills happening as I check out mid lane. RR comes in from the side as well, doesn't have his ultimate quite yet, and the courier, it's gonna. Come on, RR, no, he's not even going for the courier kill at all. And he's gonna get caught. There's the Malphite, Aluka comes in from the other side, as the spirit gives him extra movement speed, extra attack damage. Although Concussion did slow him down, another Asset Spirit Echo Stop. 
buying some time, Hana will be there with a Thunderclap, and that's gonna be the kill. Duel used as well, beautifully just slowed down, body blocked a little bit, guaranteeing that first duel victory for Miracle. So kill score 5 to 5 now, but Johnny is still farming up, already has the Mask of Man as well, mid lane, oh Miracle stays alive for a little while longer, oh god. Just press the attack, keeps him alive against all the odds. Maybe Lich should have used the Chain Frost, maybe just got it. There's another overwhelming odds, waveform, it's not enough, one more right click, he goes down. Kai, he's around, but he can't do anything at all. He got even Frost Blaster as well, Astro Spirit is there. Maybe if he landed an Echo Stone, but he doesn't have enough mana for it, so... Aluka, he's gonna run away as well now. Make it 5 to 6 now. Looking at the net worth, Johnny heavily ahead, Morphling number 2. Ember Spirit not doing that bad, but... He was up against a solo center for the most part. Now though RR coming in, still not level 6. Wants to get that if he can at all. Lobby burns down some trees with the over not the overwhelming what the midnight pulse. Looking at the graphs as well. It's about a 2 2200 gold lead for Minensky. XP more or less zeroed out as Bimbo. Has to get some health back, dropping extremely low, top lane, there's the Chronosphere onto Lobby. They will have the Chain Frost, but it wouldn't have bounced now, maybe use the Chain Frost on the Brulings. Just kill the Brulings off, nope, not gonna do that either, Johnny. The Lich believes in Johnny's ability to escape, he has a time walk, so he should be fine. Stampede used in the bottom lane in the meantime to disengage, I guess. Johnny stays alive for now, another Boulder Toss, another Thunderclap, no, Hana. He's a little bit too low on mana, I mean the Magic Stick doesn't bring him enough. And there is he gonna, there's he gonna go down. Chain Frost used for that, just to be on the safe side, waveform from Bimbo as well, but bottom lane, they're gonna get, oh no, they don't, they don't get, they're not gonna get the Centaur, Centaur just blinks away under their noses, and that's always what you have to consider when you're playing heroes that don't have stuns or lack the mana for it or whatever the case, that people are gonna TP out from under you. So Faces Void gets some more farm, 2-0 and 1 already on top of his excellent creep score. 69, next highest is 46, so he is really farming well and for my faces void, it's just excellent, you can actually transition into proper damage as well, or this early mask of madness already with an almost maxed out time lock is gonna do so, so much for you, but they're gonna lose the double, not the double damage, the mid tier 1 as double damage was activated in the morphling, so he's gonna be able to pressure the tier 1 in return as well, but two first parts are keep on going, they don't have the gem quite yet or do they, N not the gem, the mech, God damn, I'm just mixing things up so much. But they don't have the mech yet, and they're not gonna go Polosan though. Does get stunned up. Too bad Centaur doesn't have a blink, and he's gonna get the hoof top anyway, or no, he's not. There's the same chase. Misty Flare fails because of the hoof top failing. So that didn't bring them anything at all. Do they really want to keep on going? They have the black hole, Polosan. If he can connect with a slight of his searing change, maybe they can jump in the mid lane in the meantime. Miracle drops low. Also, he's on the run. Double damage still active. Miracle, he's safe now. ATP is even coming in. Poloson wants to get the Searing Chains. He's not gonna get them. Or doesn't have enough mana after the Slight of Fist. And the Remnant. Okay, so a little bit unfortunate. I mean, Waveform was there anyway. So don't think, think it would have mattered. They needed to get the duel to get the win. Miracle keeps himself alive. We have to press the attack. Get some health back as well. Cliff used by the Radiant. Or Dire, rather. Ice armor even on it, so slowing things down even more. Lich will have his chain frost in about 20 seconds, so they can maybe even try to look for a fight. Uh, Speedball well, came into the mid lane, used the wave for me immediately. Got the uh, used the bottle as well at the same time. So got the third bottle charge back from just having TP from the base. Miracle, another overwhelming odds. Aluka comes in as well. Press the attack used and never mind. Just gonna go for the rune. A bounty on the bottom region. Or bounty on top region on bottom. Looking at center. He has his blink dagger coming out now. He managed to farm enough. And that's gonna be his blink. That's gonna be a huge item pickup. And Chronosphere onto Hana in the meantime. Mystic Flare as well. Mystic Flare is gonna ensure the kill here. No primal split for you. So Johnny gets another assist under the belt for himself. More gold for them in the mid lane in the, mid lane in the meantime. Easy kill on the OWA with the four of them just converging upon a poor unsuspecting Lich support. That's gonna be a tier 1 as well, but will it be traded for this? Tier top lane was still pretty healthy, but bottom lane, Bimbo, he's already applying pressure there as well. Going for a Blade of Alacrity, so into a 
Manta style by the looks of it. TP, maybe it's just a Yasha into something else, but Hana TP's bottom lane. Has the primary split, so Morphling solo should not have the kill potential there. But Morphling TP's mid lane. Leaves the remnant on the bottom lane, just in the trees. Biding its time. Stampede was just used. And oh yeah, never mind. I was like, what? What's burst center? And he's gonna go down already. Is he? he needs to avoid any damage. There's the Ice Spirit. Black hole. Oh no, Lobby. He whiffs. And that's gonna be a blink out from JJ. So that was a little bit unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> Oh, maybe a, a little bit is an understatement. But now Miracle is gonna find Bimbo. Can he wait for him? Wait, the duel is there. And that's a guaranteed win, Morphling. He just melts. Two points into Nitro Order. Was plenty to just allow for them to get the kill. Elder Titan gets the kill, but duel win is there anyway. So that's what, 20 points of damage now? Yes, 20 points. Not the highest. Yeah, I've seen 14 minutes in, but at least starting to get something. Plus, of course, getting the kill on Morphling is also worth quite a lot in itself. Elder Titan finishes up the, the Soul Ring as well. So we'll have the mana su to sustain the Aster Spirit as well as the Echo Stomps for a little while longer. Drums finished on Polosan's Ember Spirit. Going for the Battle Fury next. But Johnny is still farming up. Already has a Mithril Hammer and... What? He already has a PKB! 40 minutes in! Some... What? Somebody get this guy a taxi? What's he doing? How the hell is he farming this fast? Is he stealing money from somewhere? Is he getting pulled gold by his teammates? He, he is like two and a half thousand above first departure's highest. That's PKB done, but in the same time, Legion Commander has a blink dagger. Hana still you yet to use a primary split, I believe. Oh, the stampede comes out. The silence is there, hoof stomp. Whoa god, okay, yeah, that happened fast. Ancient Seal just completely screws over the Brewmaster. Like completely. Miracle activates ultimate, gonna go for the duel onto Jay, but first the overwhelming was they will have Kai around, so Hoofstomp will be there, Misty Flare, oh Miracle is not gonna lose the duel, but he might lose his life, indeed, that's gonna happen. Polosan comes in with a double damage rune, oh Pimbo, wait for me aggressively, might have been a mistake, Astro Spirit gets the kill on center, so it is a 2 for 2 considering that the Brewmaster died as well. So 2 cores for 2 cores, but Polosan now, there's the Chronosphere from Johnny, unsuspecting enemies, silence onto Polosan as well. But the flame guard keeps him alive, Johnny pops the PKB now. He didn't get enough time locks, might still get the kill, nope. Remnant out, Polos oh, wow, he survived a Chronosphere. That I did not expect, but now, Johnny time walks away as well. Lobby, he's still around, has the Malphite cooling off. There's the Malphite, Johnny out of mana. Midnight pulses down, Kai comes in with the natural order. Gonna help out a little bit, the smacks are coming, but there's the blink, hoof top onto two double H to follow guy, he's gonna lose his life, primary split was used though, boulder toss onto Johnny, should be and kill in the end, but there's the chain first, lobby drops low, and chain first bounces back to him as well, Johnny still getting chased, finally dies, ice hammer kept in life for so damn long, and now Hana, he's in no man's land, gets another thunderclap buff, fire, fire blink tagger, that's exactly what he does, so, at least he has his blink tagger and doesn't lose any gold dying, but my god, what a long and weird fight. I didn't even know what the out end outcome was to for this, to be honest. So it was a 1 for 5, I think. Mineski getting like 5 kills from that. At, at least it was uh, 7 to 9 at some point. Or 9 to... What? 9 to 7? 7 to 9? Okay, so a 3 for 5. 3 for 5, I don't know what I'm saying. Still Mineski probably coming out ahead. That, that's all that matters, really. As Miracle is on the hunt for something. Blink Tiger on cooldown for the time being. Center. Never mind. The replicate I thought might have. Oh, oh god. He blinked in a little bit too late. Miracle blinks out just before the stampede connects. Kai though. He's going to be the casualty most likely. Overwhelming all. not. Never mind. It did get used. Just lagged a little bit for me. RR going for the TP out as well as Astro Spirit tries to chase somebody else down. Hana has his own Blink Tiger. So that's a good sign. Of course he bought it just before the last death of his. Polosan in the mid lane, has the Perseverance, Remnant left behind, just as a safety measure and, well, after one slight of fist, backs the hell out of there. Does not want to lose all this gold. Looking at the graphs, a 3k network lead still for Mineski, XP about 2.5. Although they are ahead in kills, it's not massive by any means. They are behind in one tower actually, so first departure have been a little bit stronger in that aspect. Of course they have an Enigma, and does he have a mech flying out? Oh yes he does. So they're gonna have the heal now to work with as well. 
but they need his heal so damn badly and Lich, not too far off his off of his own mech as well. And usually Enigma, he definitely has more farm than support, but oh, follows and he gets caught, silenced up. Easily taken care of. Center gets the kill with a double damage, double edge. Just Mineski, their burst damage real. Johnny is still farming up. Not as far ahead as he was before, just because he died once and didn't find any kills himself. He is still looking pretty good. Maelstrom soon to be done by Johnny, he just needs that Mifflin Hammer now. That's gonna really bolster up his attack speed and just damage output as well. Since no BKBs are coming, the Lightning procs are gonna do quite a lot of damage, in all fairness. But 10 to 15 now, first departure. Do or when do they go aggressive, if at all? They definitely want to get more damage on Miracle if possible. But it's easier said than done in mid lane now. Kai, where the hell were you farming? Silenced up. Blink double edge, no hoofs not even needed. They used to stampede though, so I guess that was plenty. But yeah, Yaj, Centaur, JJ, still definitely having a better game than the previous ones. But first part, you're going for a smoke. Yeah, they're going for the safe position and was it just on the edge? Oh, I think they saw the smoke with this Observer Ward. They pinged out exactly here. Oh god, this smoke was spotted out. They even moved to a position where Theoretically, the ward didn't have any vision anymore. Join easy rate with ready with the chronosphere. He probably is. Can he get the chrono? Yes, he can. Just as Miracle blinked in before the duel. That was perfect timing. Prime split. He runs into the chrono as well. Everybody's backing off though. Horror. He just gets left behind. Chain Frost was already used as well. Into the creepy ghost. They throw up center into the air. Center. He's spinning. He's spinning and spinning a little bit more. And probably gonna lose his life now. No stampede to get him to safety. Thunderclap is there. Although he's pretty damn tanky. Miracle comes in with the duel. Can they get the center when they're four versus one? One, they win the duel. In the meantime, oh, what? Try to chase down Kai. Just Lich going man mode. Johnny already backed off. There is a Echo Stomp and Mineski. Well, it really wasn't clear by them what they're doing. Some people try to back off. Some people try to fight. Whereas Pimo was just farming at the same time. And he's going for a Lincoln Sphere after the Yasha. In fact, so. Not even going to finish up a Mata style. Once the Lincoln's still against. I guess against the duel, there's not too much to proc it. Drunk and Haze might be like the easiest thing for the first departure to do it with. But they don't have the craziest amount. Duel, Malphite as well as Drunk and Haze. Boulder Toss, like if you're Primal Spit there's a little bit more but... First departure going for the tower now as well. That That's what their team really does well. If you win a sort of fight on mid lane, there's the champion Polosan. Misty Flare dodges some of it, there's the waveform over them as well. He gets the remnant out, midnight pulses down, Johnny gets stunned up. There's the duel as well, Johnny even got his PKB off, which did absolutely nothing because duel goes through it anyway. So it even hurt him more than it helped, just because now you lose PKB charges and PKB will be on cooldown. First departure, excellent trade, they got a few kills. They get the tower, they get another kill, and Mineski... Oh god, I just hope it's not gonna go the same way as all three of their previous games have thus far. It's like they're looking good, but they make a few bad decisions and... Those decisions are heavily capitalized upon by their enemies. Of course they're playing against two, or have played against two extremely strong teams today. Invasion and First Departure, but... Mineski, they are holding their own for sure and even being ahead in most of the games for... At least some of duration of the game. Looking at the graphs now though, about a 3k net worth or XP lead still for Mineski. Now dropping down a little bit down to 2k. Net worth 2 and a half still as well. But it used to be bigger and now Ember Spirit has his first battle fury with drums, magic wand and bottle. 22 minutes in it's a pretty decent timing, just the usual I would say. But now his farm will start just multiplying. Plus of course he's gonna have the cleave to work with in even the team fights. Mineski's hero is probably not gonna clump up too much though. Unless they really want to go high ground or something. So not gonna matter as much against the heroes, but just more so that the Ember Spirit can actually farm with proper speed now. And looks like first departure, they want to pressure the tier 1, maybe even get it. Invis Rune is on Legion Commander, 48 points of damage gained. Going for a PKB of his own Lincoln Sphere. Oh god, it's a bait! It's a bait, I think they know it's a replicate. Yeah, they, they, they're probably aware that this is a replicate. Miracle finds the real faces void maybe. 
Nope, blink duel onto a wall. Oh, poor Lich. Couldn't get anything off. But there's Johnny with the Chrono Sword. Will catch Yaj as well before the hoof dump. Doesn't even matter. Miracle is going to lose his life or is he still alive? Somehow there's the black hole. Will catch to the turn around is real. Oh my freaking god, Lobby. Beautiful black hole. That's three heroes down. They don't lose a single one. Plus they're going to go for RR as well. Throwing him up in the air. Even Beamboy Boy is around. But what can a Morphling do? Yes, he has the Link Hands, but he's even going to die here. Searing Chains. What? Oh, why, Beamboy? Why did you not escape? What did you think is going to happen? They're just cleaning off the creep wave now. Gonna go back for the tier 1, which is kept alive a little bit longer by the ice armor. But 5 4 zero, Absolute disaster. Chronosphere wasn't all that bad, although... The hoof stomp would have landed on the same hero, so might have been a little bit better in the end. Mystic Flare was also used, but... Legion Commander pretty damn tanky by now, and maybe, just maybe, it was split between a hero and himself. As Aluka, Kai, goes for a Hand of Midas just as... ADTR did in the invasion game. Guys, this was not the pretty sight what just happened and now. Enigma has a blink, but this black hole just completely made that fight. Of course, they managed to kill Lich before, so that meant that... Yes, they had a Mystic Flare, but the Chain Frost was not there to follow up into the black hole. With that, it would have been probably a, an even trade. Maybe Minas can come out there. Blink forward, Malphite from Lobby. Extremely aggressive plays. Blink, Thunderclap as well. Silence is there on Hana. But he doesn't have the ultimate aim. Miracle gets the duel. That's the win before Yaj can do anything. JJ gets double agent to do lobby. Waveform the world. There's the chain first as well. But it's going to be split though. Miracle runs back into Kai. S a slight mistake as Bimbo. He's on the high ground. Now Poloson comes in as well on the Ember Spirit. He's going to go for... Well, he got st himself stuck on the high ground. Now center one on killed off. Aluka. Beautiful series chains. Will land on two. Miracle going to come in as well. No duel of course. But they're going to get the kill anywhere. Are they joining? He comes in. Chronosphere just came off cooldown. He can get it on free. It does that exactly. Oh god. First departure. They won a good fight before. But looks like they're losing a fight just as bad as that was for Mineski in the last fight. And not only that. Pimbo got to end a mega, killing streak, mega kill streak. And just own Hana as well now. So pretty much they gained back whatever they lost. First departure, nice attempt, but they did not account for the Faces Void rejoining the fight and getting that Chrono off on three heroes. They didn't even need follow up at that point because everybody was so low to begin with. So maybe first departure should have given up, going for the tier 2 instead. So slight mistake and suddenly Mineski not looking that bad after all. And, well, looking at the graphs now, hoping that they have updated, just look at this. But it's coming back, it's coming back in Mineski's favor. They still have the Chronosphere, they still have the Chain Frost combination. And the Chain Frost actually did quite a lot there as well in the previous fight already. Just forcing First Departure to delay out their kills, just back the hell off. And that's Skyrath Mage almost having a Rod of Atos as well, only one staff of Wizardry away. Plus, uh, Morphling gonna have his Manta style finished in about 400 gold. So it's looking good, I mean, they're still number one in Nerf. Plus their carries are harder, and there's Miracle getting jumped, Mystic Flare gets the kill. So, not looking bad at all, I mean, Miracle has 76 points of damage, but is it enough? Blink, Thunderclap, Primal Split as well as Replicate already used, with the Stampede. And that just means the Primal Split probably was used for absolutely nothing. Remnants in aggressively. They're gonna get Skyrath Mage, throw him up in the air, but who cares, it's a support Skyrath. Yes, he's going to lose some gold, but not the end of the world. Definitely worth trading a Skyrath for a Legion Commander. And the Primal Split, of course, was used as well. A Legion Commander, although he has 76 points of damage stolen, or gained, rather not stolen, he isn't as great of a carry as Morphling, and even Faces Void just has so much more to offer, I think. Like, especially if he's going for a Crystallis now, actually boosting up his own damage output as well. And that's Manta Style finished on Pimbo. So, not doing bad at all. Poloson going for that ultimate orb. Is it a Eye of Sky? Did tank up? Oh, Pimbono runs himself into lobby, but oh god, the illusion rune and the Manta style. I am getting some massive server lags, but Morphling gets the kill. That happened so fast. Waveform, Manta style, illusion rune. And suddenly Enigma ceased to exist. So Mineski, whatever they lost in one fight, they have gained and maybe even a little bit extra. Well, I guess they haven't gotten it back completely, but they're getting Roche now as well, and they're feeling confident, and that accounts to so much as well. So they're gonna get Roshan down, most likely. In the meantime, Brewmaster has picked up Vladimir's offering, but Miracle overrunning all catches too. There's the Earth Spit as well, doing a lot of damage to Johnny. He wants to go in, but not enough mana for the Chronosphere. 
to begin with. Now he goes for the Chrono, man. My spells are getting so delayed, but they kill off Elder Titan already. Bimbo wants to go for Miracles. Miracle is on the run, has the BKB, has the duel. They have everything, but they don't have the heroes to support what they want to do. Paulson, he's still around, has another remnant, I do believe. Get stunned to double H's there as well. Waveform comes over. Hana, he's around for some weird reason. Why did you stick around? I guess they want to fight after all, or do they? Silence onto Hana. Miracle gets Arcane bolted, and Hana now. 50 more damage. He's gonna go down before the Prime Split, just before though. In the meantime, RR, he gets Searing Chains up, so he's gonna lose his life. Got the Mystic Fear off before. Lobby wants to go for the Black Hole, but only onto Bimbo with AEGs. You don't want to use that. They even have Alok around with a maxed out natural order, so getting a kill on Morphing is a little bit easier, and they do get it. But I think Mineski, they are ready to counter initiate. They have the Chain Frost. There's the Black Hole as well. They need to get the Chain Frost fast, but Poloson, he managed to interrupt them for long enough. But there's Johnny coming back in. There's the Chain Frost finally bouncing through. Oh god, the Chain Frost wasn't there timed correctly, but Jay, he's still alive thanks to the Strength Morph, but he goes down. Oh god. They had enough with Poloson and Kai, and Poloson actually cleans up, gets Johnny as well. Mask of Madness is a double-edged sword, it increases your damage output, but in it increases your damage taken. So it was a 4-4-4, four, four, four. Morphing lost the Aegis as well, but there was also a buyback on Kai. I think it was like rather even by the end of it most likely, so... Oh, never mind, Poloson, what? Is he in trouble? He gets silenced up, slowed down by the Stampede as well, so he's going to go down. Centaur, he was playing with fire right there, he was... He was counting so heavily on Sky of Mage coming in with the Silence. Without the Silence, one Slight of Fist would have been the death of the Centaur. So they do get it, so they get the Ember Spirit in the end as well. Tipping the scales in Mineski's favors a little bit. So 25 to 29, the overall kill score. Game turning out to be pretty crazy. Looking at the graphs now though. About a 6k net worth lead once again for Mineski as it used to be. XP even more than it used to be, nearing 7k already. Road of Eight was done on RR. Mech has been there for OA for quite some time and... What's he? Well, just wards. But he's gonna have his level 16, which means 60 second cooldown on Chain Frost. It's gonna be a pretty sick ability to use in conjunction with that Chronosphere. Crystal is also done on the Faceless Void. And Morphling? He's going for a shotgun, has the Ghost Scepter already. And between the Lincolns and... Uh, Manta Style? He's gonna have quite a lot of agility to just blow people up with. Now Blade Mail is there on Miracle as well, so finally he gets it. Not too sure how much it's gonna do, I mean it can do a lot, but if you just misuse the timing or Mineski, if they can control their damage while it's active, might not be as impactful, but for example if you dual faces Void or the Morphling, they're just gonna be outputting a lot of damage as it is. As well, Kai almost got jumped, Centaur didn't finish the hoof stomp. They're backing off already, in the meantime Poloson finishes up an Eye of Skadi, so Poloson still has some pretty great farm to grants on the Ember Spirit. And the Ember Spirit is always going to be sc uh, scary, especially together with that uh, natural order. I mean, they have the Lich Armor, but Lich cannot keep, uh, or cannot keep Ice Armor on everybody at all times. He's going to have to choose just, first of all, Ice Armor up Morphling most likely, as well as the Faceless Void. Make sure that your heavy damage dealers stay alive. Center also has a Reaver now, so getting a little bit tankier, 2.1k HP. Has anybody get, gotten some items I haven't noticed though? Doesn't look like it, I think I've gone over most of them anyway. And although End of Midas has been there for on Kai for some time on the other Titan, hasn't been able to get a follow-up item at all. He's the lowest in net worth actually still. Johnny, he's on the hunt for something. Poloso not the easiest target to go for just because he might be able to remnant out as the Chronosphere is about to be casted. He's gonna attempt it anyway. Oh, oh, the Slight of Fist was used not the remnant. They're gonna kill on Polos and a few more right clicks. Lobby, he's around. Doesn't want to pop the black hole just for Chony because they wouldn't have had the follow up probably. Mid lane. Illusions of Morphling tried to push the lane in. But they're gonna go push top lane instead. And with the Ember Spirit dead, pushing is a lot easier because otherwise it's like Astro Spirit, Slight of Fist, Creep Wave down. And of course, Hero's taking a lot of damage as well from it. But now, that is just not the case. Of course, looks like first poison, they're gonna go and defend as well, but Morphling getting bigger and bigger. Only about 600 gold away from that uh, glorious shotgun of his. Glorious! And Miracle just... Is he going for a Basher next? Belt of Strength is there, must be a Basher, it most likely is. 
As Hana blink forward, pops the Lincolns. Wave form away from Bimbo, just farming up. Feeling pretty confident in his ability to survive most things and rightfully so, I mean... Duel is really his worst nightmare or maybe a black hole as well. But he's already on the bottom lane and now he has enough gold. Kudir already flying out for that eagle song I think. Gonna get massive agility. Lich has a blink tiger as well. Just to be able to close the distance and stop the black hole immediately. Last time around he even got interrupted or he was trying to run as fast as he can could. Black hole was casted let's say about here. Lich tried to run from here. Slight of fist, searing chains combination stopped him around here so he couldn't get the chain frost off. If anybody understood the drawings at all, because I suck at drawing. And I like making arrow tips that look like I don't know what. Way too oversized. And if it's oversized and if I put way too oversized it means it's like the oversizing is oversized. Yes. Oversizeception. And it's time to sing, drink some water now. Oh, never mind, no water. There's a gang coming top lane. God damn. Almost couldn't use my mouse hand right about now, Johnny. He escapes for a little bit. Is he going to get dual? Oh, yes, he is. He even tried to TP out, but Miracle gets an easy dual victory for themselves. And oh, Face is why he doesn't have buyback. Is this the opening or they're going to go for Bimbo? Never mind, he replicates out anyway. Kai TPs back as well. Oh, massive sneeze. Woo, massive sneeze. Thank god I managed to mute my microphone before. So, Faces Void is down, yet first departure they're not getting any massive farm at the same time. So all is fine as Yach, JJ, he's going to be able to finish up his Heart of the Rask before they go for anything else. And now top lane, Bimbo is in some trouble for Morphling or rather Polos and he's on the run. There's the E-Blade to slow him down, RR gets the kill on Elder Titan in the meantime. Bimbo keeps on going but Remnant out by Polosan. He should be safe, another Remnant just to be on the safe side, and there's the TP out. Bimbo not gonna find him with the Adapter Strike in time. Stampede was even used for that, but... Elder Titan did tie in the meantime to Skyrath Mage. I guess just throw the Vatos into... Maybe Frostblast as well, but Mystic Flare. Must have done the majority of the damage. Elder Titan going for the Road of Vatos of his own. Vitality Booster is there already, just to get some... Oh, Bimbo though, can they pop the Lincolns with anything? They're gonna go in, Lincolns is popped. And they don't get it well. Waveform was used. A little bit unfortunate, but there's the blink hoofed them. What? JJ, he went pretty aggressive. And first departure, they only had their three heroes there. Ember Spirit is not around. Does he have a remnant here anywhere? I don't believe he does. Yeah, his only remnant is here. So 35 minutes in now. Looking at the graphs again, about a 8,000 net worth lead for Mineski. 10, almost 12k in XP. So, looking good on all accounts. Heart of the Rask finished on center now. Suddenly, regeneration through the roof! 62.2 health per second. I guess it's not that crazy of an amount. I mean, Slark has way more usually. If he has, like, Eye of Skadi. It's like 200 health per second. Just completely ridiculous and retarded like that. But, Forstaff also picked up on Skyrath. Some extra mobility for himself. Looks like Brewmaster going for either a Shiva's card or that AC slowly. Both will be fine. Miracle picking up a Sancho, so no Basher, just going for the Heaven's Albert. Not a bad choice to be honest, getting that evasion aspect. As well as being able to disarm the Morphling. I mean, Morphling doesn't have anything, plus Miracle, that's going to give him something to pop the Lincolns with as well. And it's it might be exactly what they need, although Miracle, he's playing. Hard to get pressed attack used, he wants to go for JJ, not the easiest target to go for or kill off. Especially not with only three heroes of yourselves being there. And never mind, they're not gonna make the jump on, at least not on the center, just too risky. You're probably not gonna get the kill. And it's just gonna buy so much time for Mineski to come and react. Theoretically, you would want to blow up the faces void first. To make sure there's no Chronosphere. But there are so many targets already. And there's the Stampede used. They want to keep on going. Blink hoofed on will land onto a beautiful Misty Flare to follow as well. Johnny gonna come in. Is he going for the Chrono? The Black Hole is there. But as is the Chrono. So they can't really follow up. There's a Chain Frost to stop it. Beautiful bounces around. A little bit to the illusions. But what do they care? It's a 3 for 0 so far. Bimbo comes in. Primer Split does come out. Just barely though. Johnny still alive. Although might go down. Never mind. Time walks away. Polosum doesn't get the Slight of Fist to connect him in. He, if he had joined the fight immediately. Would have been so damn different. But now he gets blown up. Remnant to the high ground. Not enough. It's a 4 for 0 unless they also get the Brewmaster. Brewmaster on the run with it. Brewlink, blink out. 
Into the trees, TP. Is something gonna get him? No, he is safe. So Brewmaster gets out, but it's a 4 for the 0 anyway. Black hole used, but where was the Ember Spirit in all that? First point, of course, they were on the run. I guess uh, I'm, I didn't check it out for sure, but Ember Spirit may have run this way, whereas all of the rest went this way. So that's why he had such trouble re kind of rejoining or regrouping. And Mirescu, they are going up against Spyback, so maybe tier 2 is all that they're going to get here, but... It's still pretty good, getting some extra gold and maybe go for Roshan next minute with the Ice Armor, with all the heroes that you have for damage and never mind. Morphling gonna wave from forward, activate the Manta style, gonna go deep and just replicate it out now. They go for another tier 2 bottom lane, JJ pushing that out, TP, is he gonna get cancelled by Miracle? No. Does he really want to keep going? Overwhelming odds. Four staff, hoofed up, they land on Miracle. Is there the follow up necessary? Bimbo comes in but they got the BKB off. So he's fine for now, Earth Splitter will land, and there's the duel as well, but the Chronosphere, they keep Center alive, Lobby does not have enough solo, Miracle is gonna lose his life, at least he doesn't win the duel, another Hoofstomp will land on two, are you kidding me, this turn around, Johnny, he just did everything, triple kill for Bimbo, gem of through sight on the ground, Ember Spirit just now respawns, but none of the others have buyback anymore thanks to that fight, this is gonna be Rex for sure I think, Ember Spirit he's strong, but if only he had like natural order to work with as well, this, I mean, it should be Rex. They are trying to split up, but Slight of Fist has a pretty huge range. So he can use it, but that's range Rex down. Johnny wants to keep on going even. Silence is there on Polos and Time Locks are there. Hoofstomp does not connect though. Bimbo comes in with the E-Blade. Still not enough. Just get the Rex. You're too low on mana, too low on health. Although they still have a pretty solid 30 seconds. Bimbo, well, he has the Manta style, so he's going to go for mid lane. They're probably going to get it. There's Eye of Scotty finished on Bimbo. And Morphling, he's, mo he's not even 6 slotted yet. He can sell the Magic Wand. Then uh, get Boots of Trials and replace, replace the TP scroll, can get something like an uh, Satanic maybe. So there's only two racks ahead. What has happened to Mineski? All those games before suddenly happened to first departure. Just one, two good team fights, and Mineski get racks, even double racks this time around. And Poloson dropping low. Bimbo comes in. Oh god, the E Blade, not quite enough, but getting closer. Now JJ, he's on the run. Maybe he's overstayed his welcome. Four step to the high ground, TP out. Lobby cannot stop it with anything. So Omineski, god damn, they are, they are looking so good to win this entire game now all of a sudden. 25k net worth lead, just look at this. Things escalated. Shadow Blade picked up on Centaur, what? Did you sell it immediately or what? Or is it really a Shadow Blade? XP also 27,000. And that's a Mjolnir finished. Daedalus as well on Johnny. They have so much gold all, all of a sudden. 4.7 on Bimbo. Just get booster travels, make sure you actually have a TP at least as well. And Bimbo, yeah, he probably sold that, sold that Shadow Blade. Heaven's Halbert finally done on Miracle, but I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference at this point. Just look at the net worth all of a sudden for Morphling and the next highest. This is not getting any farm. There's the silence on the Poloson. Mystic Flare as well. He's dead. 80 seconds on the sidelines. Primal Split was used. They're not focusing on the Brulings because they want to go for kills. Lobby gonna TP out Miracle. Still hanging around with his TP and cooldown. Now it's gonna come off. Or are not going to be able to TP out, but the Brulings might pay the price. Never mind, they get the Cyclone onto the faces void. Hoofstomp not even used yet. JJ holding on to it. And they want to get your Panda, and they will get that as well. Didn't get the blink immediately, so he goes down. He has buyback at least now. Morphling. Oh, what? He lost his ages, and he got Black Toll afterwards. He tried to go for some sneaky backdoor plays, but he just got schooled. Duel first, probably to get the ages. Black Hole to get the second kill. Oh, why would you do that? I have no idea. Of course, they are so far ahead, but... Pff, they just got so much gold from Morphling, as well as the XP. I mean, the difference was like 20... Not 20, what I'm saying. Like 12,000 net worth. He, he was pretty much almost doubling the next highest. At least uh, the next hi highest on first departure. It's probably not going to mean too much, just because they also won a fight on the fir uh, top lane. But... They could have got an easily another tier 2 and just four tracks with that Aegis. That was a waste of an Aegis for sure. Of course Black Hole is on cooldown. And there's Tony coming with the Chrono onto Lobby. Uh, that's gonna be an easy kill. Just like four, five right clicks. Didn't need much. Enigma also has buyback but like I mentioned no Black Hole TPs are coming in. Tony is gonna back off because of it. Just to be on the safe side. There's a double damage as well which only the Radiant have vision of at the moment. And BKB is done on JJ now. 
that's great. Polison. He might even get Johnny here. Johnny has a TP, but didn't use the BKB to TP out just because he was afraid of getting dual. He did get the time walk now. JJ wants to come in as well. RR, he has arrived. Does he get the slow one to Polison? Ancient Seal, yes, there's the slow stun to follow. But he got out of it with Presti attack. Now Owa wants to come in with the Chain Frost. Maybe there's the duel from Miracle onto Johnny, but Johnny is too damn tanky. Miracle is going to lose it or is it? He stays alive with Moment of Courage. Are you kidding me? He got those lucky procs just in the end before he was about to die. Kaido still will lose his life. Chain Frost bouncing around, doing massive amounts of damage. Polison drops slow. He's forced to remnant out as Bimbo. He, he arrives for Miracle, gets the kill with Adaptive Strike. And he's going to go for more Polison. He's out of remnants. He doesn't have a TP. Do they keep on going though? Hana, he's around. They're going to get that uh, Brewmaster first. As Bimbo, he kills off Ember Spirit. Now Hana going for the TP out. is not going to succeed. Triple kill for Bimbo. Three of them ha have buyback on first departure. So they're still not out. Legion Commander already buys back. But, well, moment of courage. Well, it kept him alive. Let's just say it like that. But almost, just almost, Faces Void managed to even escape that kind of situation. That's going to be a tier 2 easily for the Morphling. I mean, such an easy kill for him. So, three buybacks are on cooldown for first departure now. Ember Spirit is still on the sidelines, which is a huge part to just counter push. Miracle, he's hunting for something. They are smoked up, he just wants to get a duel. Get one hero down on Mineski so they wouldn't push. Without the faces white, they maybe don't want to anyway. But there's a butterfly now as well, so... Jay, Bimbo, he is literally six slotted now. Boots of Travels, plus five big items. I guess you can replace Lincoln Spheres at some point, but... He's hitting for 380. Plus, he still has 2000 HP as well to work with. Oh, but what? Bimbo? Or not Bimbo? JJ, use this ultimate. They get Kai, get the stun Hana in the meantime. In the Mystic Fair, he goes down as well. Or he pretty much got a solo kill onto a Brewmaster. That means no buybacks on them. Miracle going to slow down, goes for the duel, the black hole onto a Centaur as well. But B Bimbo is a little bit stronger, so they get the win. And that's going to be GG called. Everyone is dead. Nobody has buyback. Johnny came in with a Chronosphere, just. Celebratory one catches every one of their teammates, so nicely done. So Mireski, they finally win the game. They do get that one-one to get the tie of the ser series. So guys, this is gonna conclude this stream for the day. We're gonna be back at 20 CET with House of Gamers vs Lions, but that will be on hitbox.tv forward slash Hefla TV HP1. If you follow us on our social media, Facebook and Twitter.com forward slash Hefla TV, you can see when we're going live exactly on what channels. Just to make it easier for you to click on the channels and whatnot. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the games. Because I sure as hell did. And if you like my casting personally, you can follow me at, at Coucher. Just leave me some feedback. It's on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, it's CoucherCast. But if you just search Coucher there, you should find me. So, has been a great day of Mineski, Dota and Southeast Asian Dota in general. So, just a few songs to finish up the stream, guys. And have a good one.